Hey everyone, welcome back to more Tokyo Jungle. We did the tutorial last time, so let's go ahead and get right into the actual survival part now, shall we? Okay. New game. Single player, since I'm not playing online. And here we go. We can go... The only two things available to us from the start are the Pomeranian and the Sika Deer. So we've got one Predator and one Grazer. Now as you can see, there's a ton of animals you can unlock. These guys you gotta buy through the store. The other ones here to actually tell you what challenges to complete to unlock it. So playing as the Pomeranian, uh, let's see, I think... Let's see, what can... Ah! That unlocks this. And then whatever that is, we go from there. I believe that's just the cat. But yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. That's our goal for right now. Above all else, is to at least unlock that. Alright. Single player. I didn't mean hit back. We're going as Pomeranian. Here we go. Let's see how long our first round lasts. Alright, we're starting in Shibuya Station. Now, as you can see, there at the top is the calendar. And our goal, of course, is to last as many years as we can. Now, if you hit start, we see this screen again, which is not only the map screen, but also our status screen. So on the left there, we have name Pomeranian. Zero, year, year, bleh, zero years old. Uh, rank of rookie with zero K cal. That's your score, of course. Toxicity, we'll get into a little bit later. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the challenge list. Now, none of this is going to happen. Now, these EX ones... Trying to think. I don't believe they actually take effect until after you survive the first year. I mean, they're extra things. And really, it's made to wait, best to wait like the first year before you start doing any of these anyway. Because then, um, once, because then once, uh, well, I guess you have to defeat two animals just to start it off anyway. But once you actually start going and get. Into the for once the first year goes by, you can actually start earning uh, score, and uh, SP rather. So let's see, we'll, let's see, let's close the check, shall we? Yeah, I was just in the challenge menu. I just did that. That's what's active right now. And then raise rank the veteran, and then so on and so forth. Ah, crap. Oh well. It saw us, but who cares? Did that not that should have completed the first challenge. Oh. It didn't. Okay. So we'll head back over here. Really, birds? The birds are among the most annoying enemies to try and kill. I mean, you can get them, but only when they're on the on like the cars. Now, the grass, while one won't let you hide, well, uh, well, is good for hiding from predators. That's what we're waiting for. Because now we can start the other challenges. Bang! And now we got survival points. You'll earn uh, survival points are your way of ranking up your survivor skills. You'll earn points for hunting, ranking up, taking over territory, changing generations, completing challenges, and surviving. So push your score to the limit to compete in the rankings. And yeah, survival points are in the top right. Collect points to climb the higher ranks. Alright. Now we're going to go marking and Next challenge is to mark two times, which which is going to happen as we try and take over the station. And we leveled up. Alright. So now we're going to quickly run over here. 
past the cars. Wait, let me see if I can do anything. Nah, I'm not. It flew away. And I'm not sure if it'll let you clean kill a bird. Also, if you looked at, if you see on the radar those uh, discs with circles around them, those are the story discs I was talking about. Collecting those will give us more to the actual main story of the game, which I will be showing off. Nom 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 rabbits. Two years. And that will mark. And that. Oh, I guess I gotta mark one more. Do run, 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 do run, run. Not get away from me, chicky. Goodbye. Yep, scared some chickens. And I'll take this chicken out too. There we go. Didn't that complete that challenge? Damn it, I did it too early. Whatever, we can mark in other areas. One more bird. Here, chicken, chicken, chicken. There we oh, I missed it. Shit, it faded. Got it. You're mine now, bird. There we go. Now we're veteran. Attack plus five. Oh god, dinosaurs awakened. Yeah, we're, well, we're not going any, anywhere near there right now. And we get that. Archives are ar archives are records left behind by mankind. Perhaps collecting them will offer some insight into humanity's sudden disappearance. Open the menu and read more under archives. Zookeeper Rapid One. The zoo animals have been restless recently. The fierce predators are particularly on edge, and fights are often breaking out between them. Feeding time has become quite frightening. I think I'll talk to our vet about administering some tranquilizers. Alright. Ah, no, that, see how that one's got black hearts? That is a desperate one. Those you want to avoid, because sometimes, not, uh, one, they'll give you a very uh, small output of puffs, but two, they can also carry diseases, like mange. And if they have mange, uh, you'll get to, your toxicity will go up, and that'll eventually start draining your life. They could also be uh, have fleas, which can cause you to stop randomly and scratch, which ha can has the chance of leaving you wide open the predators, which obviously you don't want. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's much food in this area to warrant ranking up to the next stage. Well, we may not have a choice. Alright. We're gonna go to the next area. What is the current challenge, anyway? Mate, right? No, Mark. And I gotta do that before it'll let me... before the Super Station Station will count. Unfortunately, the challenges, as you see, they have to be done in order. So even though I've already taken Shibuya Station, it doesn't count for the challenge because it's not open. And now look, it's nighttime. Pretty cool. Oops. And now it's getting tough. Hunger meter slowly decreasing. Hopefully there'll be some more food in this area. Shop district. More importantly, we can do the second damn thing. Now, the triangles there, I believe, are plants, which... No, wait, um, what am I saying? Ignore me, those are actually food, so we'll be alright. I'm gonna head over here and mark first. Five years! Yes, I know, I'm hungry. Do you see any food? I 
know there was food on the map up there. I'm working my way up there. Veterinary report. I'll look at that in a minute. Okay. Yeah. You can see the meter underneath the shop district. There's very little food intake here. What am I doing? Archive. I've never seen animals in such an agitated state while I've been to the zoo. Or seen the animals, rather. I don't know what could be causing this, but one theory is they're inge they inge they've ingested some sort of chemical that agitates them, making them turn much more savage than before. Please check again to see if there's been any change in their diet. Not good. See if I can get up into these buildings and go after that food. And I gotta be quick. Alright, jumping up on that and that. Well, now you know, now you guys know if you jump and look out your window and you see a Pomeranian climbing up around the buildings, fucking run. Ah, there we go. Now that we've got some food, with the hunger meter pretty much full, your health will restore automatically, providing you're not in any danger. If it's in danger, then your health ain't gonna recover. Now, that was pretty close. We almost, uh, almost sent us to an early grave. Take that, bitch! It's bacon! And being a big pig, it had much more food available. Now, normally, I would leave food... Now, normally... Oh, hello. I guess I hit that bird, too. And that was a toxic bird. Wonderful. Breathing smog or concealed tainted food and water will fill your toxicity gauge. Watch out. If it reaches 100, you'll start to lose life. Yeah. Um, if you kill something and then leave it on the ground and don't eat it all right away, uh, it'll go bad. Pretty quickly. So, you want to kill... You want to eat whatever you kill very as soon as you kill it. Where are you going, pig? Die, pig! Alright, daytime. Now we can see again. There we go! Okay. Rank is veteran. Good. Mark two times, which we'll do now, and then since we already took Shibuya Station, that'll kick in. Can I get down from here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now we're heading down. All the foliage and trees growing in the buildings. Apparently this is what Tokyo looks like. Alright. Check the full map. Uh, we're gonna go this way. And of course doing that little hoppy thingy I did depletes your stamina. Which will rec re uh, recover by itself over time. Mark here. There we go. And that gives us defense. And now hopefully... Take the Shibuya Station, which... Done. Gives us more stamina. Now the only problem is we're hungry again and gonna start losing life. Since I don't know where any food is in this area. And if you're a carnivore, you can't eat plants. And if you're a herbivore, you can't eat meat, obviously. So even though there's plants all over the place, they don't do a damn thing for the Pomeranian. Okay. And the years keep on rolling by. Now, 
don't know if you saw that, but it popped up saying, ooh, there we go, that's what I'm looking for, food. But it popped up saying that in Act 1 and Store, there it is, that since we collected enough archives, we can look at that story mode. Collect archives to unlock story mode. Select it from the title screen to dive into an animal story. And completing that story will cause new archives to appear. So we got all the Pomeranians to archives, and I'm about to die. I died. Well, that was kind of lousy. That was really lousy. And, of course, the one thing I said to do was to make sure we unlock the damn cat. And I screwed up. Didn't change generations at all. Because I was too focused on completing challenges, which is what happens. And now it'll show you a neat little uh, timeline of basically what you ate over what years. Hey, high score. I mean, it's not my real high score because uh, that's over. Uh, that's on Corn Shack system where I used to play it. But anyway, now it's gonna upload, and that put me right at four thousand four hundred eighty-fourth place. Tied for it, really. All right. Now we're gonna try that again. Fun times. All right. Make sure we do this right. Defeat two animals, then raise rank, then mark, blah, blah, blah. And this time I'm gonna make sure I don't kill everything off. And of course that didn't unlock until I defeated the first animal. Raining has such a low health meter. Ooh, rabbits. Bang! Scared the hell out of that guy, and that gave us more life. Now, of course, another reason why you want to do challenges, I'm sure you noticed, is completing them increases your stats, and that is a big function of this game, among other things. Thanks, chicken. Thankfully, Veteran is pretty easy to reach. Ooh, he dropped something. Primo Stamina Jerky. Items left by humans have a variety of effects. You can survive more easily using the items appro appropriately. Push the directional button up to check items. Look at that. Halt Stamina Loss. Not bad. That's useful when you want to uh, jump around a lot. I missed it. I missed it. Whatever. I got some chicks. Ooh, sleeping rabbits. Nom nom nom. Sorry guys, just ate your brother or whatever. Yeah, whatever. Here it comes. Good night. Ah, crap. Oh, okay, he went back to sleep. Big mistake. There we go. And there's Veteran. Such a cute little howl. And we got a stack up, attack up plus five. Ooh. And he dropped a hearty chicken breast. Nice. That'll come in big help if I'm right. Raises the maximum lumber the level of the hunger gauge. Well, we're using that right now. Now we're at 35 instead of 25. Sorry about that. Turn the mic off for a second to sneeze. Alright. Now it should let us do the marking challenge since I botched this. Yeah. Rabbit. What 
the rabbit. Come on. Uh, see, see, it was looking at us, so the damn bite marks didn't appear. Ugh. But yeah, when they're, as the tutorial, tutorial said, when the animal's looking at you, you're not going to get a clean kill. However, when you sneak up behind it, like that. Long way away from the bo from boss rank, but I still kill a lot of rabbits. Now we'll go ahead and mark two times, and then take Shibuya Station and mate. Like the uh, I believe the tutorial said, like 15 years or so as the end of an animal's lifespan. Around like 10. The age will start to affect you, and it'll even pop up, like, getting old, stats, uh, stats lowering. So that's, of course, when you want to start uh, mating and, pa and switch generations. Now, of course, we'll take Shibuya. Oops. Come here, Chicky Poo. Good night. Former pets are warring in Shibuya Woods. Fun. Oh, let's see if I can start again. Okay. Now you see how on the mini map there's the circles and then there's the triangles. The circles are the are on your level. Triangles are above you. So the triangles there, those are going to be up on that overpass up there. But don't worry, we will get them. Just as soon as we eat some rabbits. Now normally I would use I would try and say save your food. Ooh shit. Alright, we're gonna kill this thing right out because it's a beagle and it can actually pose a threat. But yeah, normally it's best to save food until you actually need are hungry. Ooh, bottled water. Oops, wrong button. Still hunger gauge. Perfect. But yeah, as the line says, animals don't hunt when they're not hungry. So obviously you want to wait until you're hungry before you start eating. But at the same time, uh, in the beginning, you want to get your uh, rank up to as high as you can so you can get better mates. But then again, you don't have to worry about that until later on. Got it. 600 to start away. Jeez, get some nice drops. What were all these drops last round? Okay, we don't want you. the other one. As long as it's not mangy, we'll be alright. We'll go ahead and mate. Since it's getting to be about seven years. Might even be able to grab one of these running animals. Whatever it is. So we gotta run all the way back here, jumping over cars. Whoops. And... Perfect. Yay! Now she's gonna follow us, which is good. Unfortunately, hunger is setting in, but there should be those animals up there. Yep, okay. Whatever they are. Oh, they're just chicks. Might as well eat them, because once we the generation changes, they'll disappear. I don't know where they'll... I guess they'll run away, or... 
go somewhere, but they won't be here for the kids to eat, unfortunately. So. Gotcha. And now you come over here, and you can either mate, or save your current progress, and then resume. Now that's not, uh, normally, if that's actually a, um, oh, what's it called? A quick save. Basically, it saves it and then stops where you are, and then you can, you can, can later. Anyway, happy birthday, Pomeranian 2. Uh, so, as you saw there, uh, I been, couldn't read in time, but we passed on a bunch of stats to the current ge new generation. And, of course, it says, uh, grouping. Form a pack. In the event of your death, control will switch to a packmate. You can also order packmates to fight by holding the triangle button. So, now, the parents are done. They'll live out their days here and then die. And we can, you can't use your parents' nest to mate. That's not gonna, it won't work. So you have to find your own nest and your own mate and all that fun stuff. But now we have four Pomeranians. There it is, the cat's territory. That's what I wanted last time. That's gonna unlock the cat. But now we have four Pomeranians instead of just one or two. All right, let's look at the map. Uh, we want to zoom. Now we got all the archives. Where the hell is that? Shibuya Shop District. That's where that is. But where is the cat? Is that it? Shibuya Shubber Suburbs? Yeah, Suburbs on the cat. Okay. So, it looks like we're going to the shop. How's the food level there? Meh. But thankfully, it looks like there's a, there's a ton of food in the suburbs, so let's make our way there. Come on, guys. You don't have to wait for them. They'll always be with you, thankfully. I'm gonna run through the wreckage here. Wreckage. Do run, 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 I do run, run. And we made it to Shibuya Shop. Yay! Wasn't that the... Oh! It's gotta be 11 years to actually get that one. Well, no matter. By the time we actually get through this damn thing, it'll have been... 11 years. Alright. What do we got over here? I know! Thankfully, there's some deer. That's gonna give us a lot of food health. Should fill up the hunger gauge and more. Look at that. Push us almost to a um, rank up. Where's the first... Down there's a dead end. I'll eat this guy up here. Oh shit! Phew! Lucked out on that one. It w that would have been a really tough fight head on. Aw, oh, you turkey! Well, technically it was a jackal, but still, left this 20 short! Or was it 30? Anyway, it was just short of ranking up. I was hoping that would have done it, because when you rank up, any... F what is that? Oh, just sheep. Alright. Any food you would have gained just stops. And then, of course, eating more after that gets you the rest. Piss off, sheep. And look at that, we're right at the 11 year mark. Perfect. Give 
There's five more attack. Now we'll head down here and over this way. Why, the toxicity, why is toxicity increasing? Oh, it might be acid rain. I think that's what just popped up, actually. This. And now we have one more and we'll take the shop district. Ooh, dear. Fine. Which is great. Fill up the hunger level page. All right, we took the shop district. Now, technically, I could find a mate, which yeah, might as well Let's see what. Just look at what mates are here, and if there's only mangy stuff, then. Feed up, but uh, if there's only mangy stuff, then we'll move on. What have we here? Nope. Desperate. Okay. I don't feel like running all the way over there. Let's go do the cat. Well, take the cat. When is our next challenge unlock, anyway? At 21 years. That's gonna be a while. Yeah, a lot of it is just killing time. I mean, as far as the challenges go. There's a trophy. Oh, shit. What did I just stumble onto? Oh, yeah, cats. Come here. Now, I think in order to do the cat objective, we just have to take the territory. Which means just mark any damn territory. Piss off, cats! Eat as much of this as I can before it goes bad. Boss rank. Now we can get any mate we want. Now it's just for boosting score. Okay. Hopefully. Good, I managed to get it all before it went bad. Suburbs. Let's take Chase back to the shop. Yeah, now we just gotta claim it. We're, sometimes when it's like comes to unlocking other animals, it could be uh, take out a boss. But in this case, it's just whoa. Take the place from these crazy cats. I really don't feel like fighting. Territory of Yagoi Park is bleeding. Well, we're not going there yet, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, crap. I forgot this is a dead end. Don't mess with the Pomeranians. Now the suburbs are polluted. Pollution means that food left that food will spoil more quickly. So if it drops, eat it like right away. That right there was a cat's attempt at a clean kill. Thankfully, I shook it off before it was actually able to do me in. 
Unfortunately, being as how it's polluted, everything that's hitting the floor is going bad. Um. Thankfully, though, we have that water if need be. Hunger level is okay for now. Piss off! Trying to get the caution to go down, so... Oh good, we eat good food unless the toxicity went down. Now, you see how those guys are glowing? They're toxic. If I, eat th if I were to eat those, we'd get big time uh, poison. Now unfortunately it's increasing by itself because of the pollution level. Another downside of it being polluted. Damn, cats don't know how to clean up after themselves. Um... Do this since it's right here. Run back and grab this one, then we'll go move on. Um, wait, how long has this one been? Has this guy been alive? Two. Yeah, I know. We'll do this. one of these just to reduce the toxicity see that it dropped it down to freaking five easily perishable in the blistering heat even better I will, however, drop my toxic level. Wrong button. And you're done. This is what happens when you put a pack of Pomeranians in with a bunch of Pharaoh Cats. There. This one because it hasn't done bad yet. Never mind. It did. It was too late. Um. Okay, now we gotta go this way. This place is going to hell real fast. Whoa! Look at all the food. It's all the damn cats. Looks like the pollution went away. Thankfully. Let's go down here and eat this. Can't eat the plants, though. Where'd it go? Oh, good. They dropped the pollution. That's the whole reason I ate them. Come on, there's only one more over here. One more damn place to take. Not to mention when the pollution goes away, the whole place looks like everything looks a lot better. You bitch. Much better. Got it. And now we can play as the cat. Success. But we're not done yet. Now we're gonna see how long the. Oh, that was good. There you are. Survive for 20 years. Not bad. Ooh, here we go. Prime mate. Yeah, 
damn right she's interested. Let's go up here and move. those guys alone for right now. We go up here to this prime penthouse uh, nest. And actually, this video has been going for a decent length. I'm going to go ahead and save it here. Then, the one Pomeranian's got a rabbit. Aww. Save the game, yes. Alright. That's going to do it for this part. We'll pick up next time and just see how long we can keep this palm rain alive. See you then.